Designers and manufacturers have made a huge number of improvements to the engines that they've created over the past two decades. They're now faster, more fuel efficient, and can do more than ever before. However, the biggest improvement has come in the reliability department, but sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Maybe it's bad engineering or perhaps the engine's technology is rushed to the market too quickly. Sometimes it's a good idea brought to customers before it's time, and others it's a bad idea at any time. In other cases, engine failures come from adding modifications that are carelessly constructed and made with cheap materials. No matter the reasons, there are things you should and shouldn't do to keep your car's engine running and in one piece. So here are 5 secrets to keep your engine running. Aftermarket Exhaust System while every car has a factory exhaust, not all of them are good quality. If you get an aftermarket exhaust, you can in fact increase your engine's power and performance. A recent study from Harvard University found that aftermarket exhaust can not only add an 80% flow increase to your engine, but could also add up to 20 horsepower as well. Of course, that's not the equivalent of adding a turbocharger or supercharger, but it saves those ponies lost in the pipes of your dilapidated exhaust system. Plus, your engine's fuel economy increases as well. ECU Tuning the ECU is one of the greatest things to happen in the automotive world. Much like a lot of other software-run programs, the ECU is also managed by computers, and that's exactly the beauty of it. The ECU is programmed to do various things at once, and to change other things depending on the feedback it gets. The standard computer chip used in stock fuel injection systems typically deliberately restricts the amount of air and fuel it can consume, drastically restricting your engine's power and speed. By replacing the unit with a custom performance ECU, you'll greatly improve horsepower, speed, and gas mileage by allowing your engine to handle more air and fuel. These performance chips can be precisely adjusted and programmed to optimize the output of your engine. When your car's system is set up like this, you have a pre-made performance chip plugged directly into your engine. Such an enhancement can increase your engine's gas mileage and performance by over 75%. With moderation, the ECU is a healthy and smart thing to consider. Nitrous Oxide You've seen this used in every Fast and the Furious movie. That moment when the characters are in a head-to-head -head street race, and the driver presses the button labeled NOS, and immediately the car shoots forward with an extreme burst of speed, propelling it past the other racer. But what does NOS do? Also known as nitrous oxide, NOS is used to create additional oxygen for the engine, which helps it during combustion. It has the added benefit of cooling the intake air, which causes the air to be denser. Unlike other mods, a nitrous oxide system isn't run continuously on a vehicle, but instead applies in short bursts when needed. Many states prohibit the use of this modification, so be careful to check your state's laws. Changing your serpentine belt the serpentine belt is what powers most of your vehicle's accessories. It takes the engine's rotation from the crankshaft pulley and uses it to turn other things like the water pump, alternator, and air conditioning compressor. Without a belt, your car's truck or engine would likely overheat, its battery would die, and you'd be terribly uncomfortable in the summer heat. Changing your car's serpentine belt can be accomplished with basic hand tools. Additionally, these rubber components are very affordable, so there's no excuse for not taking care of this maintenance item. Replacing Spark Plug Wires Spark plug wires are a critical engine component. They conduct tens of thousands of volts of electricity from your engine's coil to its spark plugs. Over time, heat and vibration can break these wires down, leading to potential drivability issues including misfires. If your ride is equipped with plug wires, it's a good idea to change them when the manufacturer recommends. Luckily, this is usually an easy task. If you can plug a lamp into a wall socket, you could probably change your spark plug wires. Changing your transmission fluid and filter. Now we're really getting ambitious. Drivers who want to maximize their savings and do a whole lot of good to their vehicle can change its automatic transmission fluid and filter. Self-shifting gearboxes are some of the most complicated components found in modern cars and trucks. A clean, fresh supply of fluid is absolutely necessary to keep these components functioning properly. With good instructions, a decent selection of hand tools, and some patience, you can change a vehicle's transmission fluid and filter. Some manufacturers claim to offer transmissions that are filled for life, but this this is a little suspicious. Changing the fluid and filter every 30,000 miles to 50,000 miles cannot hurt, and will most likely add years and tens of thousands of miles to your car or truck's life expectancy. Tightening and cleaning your battery's connections 
One of the biggest problems with most car batteries is that the connection to the vehicle becomes loose, or is interrupted by engine gunk or corrosion on the connector cables. A loose battery connection can be hard on the engine, and may make it very hard to start your car. In case you have to try more than once to get your vehicle's engine to start, it's likely that your vehicle's battery connection is loose or dirty. This is a very straightforward and easy fix. You simply need to disconnect the car battery cables and clean the connectors to remove corrosion or rust before firmly reattaching the connector cable. This is an easy and quick thing you could do to ensure that your car gets maximum starting and charging power. Swapping out spark plugs and while you're under the hood, it might be a good idea to change your spark plugs as well. This task is a little more challenging, as swapping spark plugs can be difficult in most vehicles. More adventuresome motorists that are up to the challenge may find the job rewarding, as it can improve performance and fuel economy. Many vehicles these days come with spark plugs that are equipped with platinum-tipped electrodes. These are often rated to last for 100,000 miles, so you don't have to change them very often. Changing the air filter one of the most important maintenance items for your car's engine is your vehicle's air filter. Your air filter prevents dust and grit from entering the delicate internals of your car or truck's engine. Luckily, these are generally simple and inexpensive to change. Disposable paper filters can be purchased for as little as $20. Installing a new one is an easy way of ensuring that your engine has a good supply of fresh air. If you want a little extra performance, you can invest in a washable, high-flow air filter. Changing your fuel filter as previously mentioned, an abundant supply of clean air is important to efficient driving, and the exact same is true for clean fuel. Replacing your car's fuel filter is a simple way of keeping it running properly. Dirty filters can restrict flow and cause drivability issues. A damaged filter can even allow contaminants to enter your vehicle's fuel injectors, causing even more issues, often leading to pricey repairs. Head off these woes by changing your fuel filter. Another way to make your engine run better is increasing the amount of fuel dumped into each cylinder by upgrading the fuel system. You could add high-flow fuel pumps, large diameter gas lines, high-flow filters, bigger injectors, larger fuel rails, and much more. Take caution during these upgrades, as too much boost and not enough fuel will cause pre-detonation, destroying your engine. Upgrading your drivetrain. You can enhance your vehicle speed by tuning up your drivetrain. This includes gears, stall converters, clutches, flywalls, differentials, and drive shafts. These upgrades depend on the vehicle you have and should be done very carefully. Upgrading your carburetor. If you still own a vehicle with a carburetor, you could upgrade this as well. Upgrading it will do wonders for your engine. A carburetor is a device that mixes air and gasoline into vapor, to be later burned inside the engine. Newer cars have fuel injection, but if your car is older and it does have this device, upgrade your barrels where acceptable. If you have a two-barrel carburetor, upgrade it to a four. Additionally, you'll have to install a new intake manifold, but you'll also be adding a lot of speed as well, increasing your engine's performance tenfold. Coolant flushes. With large parts of North America experiencing winter's deep freeze, keeping your car's cooling system in order is critically important. Old, worn-out coolant won't protect against temperature extremes, as well as the fresh stuff will. Also, if you never flushed out your vehicle's cooling system, it could be full of gunk and corrosion, which can plug tiny openings in the radiator or block the thermostat, resulting in overheating. Doing a brake job. Okay, so you may be confused on this one. You're probably wondering, how do brakes increase the performance of my engine? That answer's simple. Having better brakes allow you to brake later and more efficiently, keeping your vehicle in control, which in turn allow you to go easier on the engine, extending its useful life. What good is a vehicle that goes but can't stop? Everyone that's ever had a car dart out in front of them knows that brakes are mission critical to safe driving. Motorists that want to save some money can do their own brake jobs, relatively easy with a few basic tools. With proper instructions, changing your car or truck's rotors and pads, drums and shoes is affordable and relatively simple. So what are you waiting for? Get on this job as soon as possible. Upgrade your suspension. You can increase the speed and handling of your car's engine by upgrading your suspension. A reduction in chassis flex helps to increase the car's handling and response by adding sway bars and tower braces, and there are many options to optimizing it. You could add subframe components, H braces, and other types of strengthening devices to help protect your car as well, particularly if you're driving it hard. Doing this will prevent your car's chassis from becoming deformed, and therefore putting less stress on your car's engine. 
Well guys, those are five secrets that make your engine run better. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like what you see at the channel, subscribe and put post notifications on. You can also follow the channel on Instagram at ModernMuscleYT. I'm Jeff from Modern Muscle, and I'll see ya next time.